A new art exhibition in Dubai celebrating artworks that have never been seen before by public. Some of the artworks are from the private collections, including from Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum of the ruler of Dubai. The exhibition named When Images Speak highlights from the Dubai collection. The event showcases modern and contemporary artworks from the region and highlights some of the most important Arab artists. The initiative borrowed artworks from 10 patrons in Dubai. The idea of the initiative was started in collaboration with Sheikh Mohammed, making his private collection the foundation of the exhibition. Pieces by artists including Dia Al Azawi, Marwan Kasabachi, Kamal Bulata, Saadi Al Kaabi, and Baya Mahidin are on display at the exhibition. These artists played an important role in shaping the Arab art scene and modernist movement. The exhibition focuses on the history of Arab modernism and split in three main themes, abstract variations, societies in transition, and evoking the environment. Moving on now, the mining town of Collie in Western Australia wants to convert decades of coal-fired power station waste into eco-concrete. Concrete is one of the most widely used building materials in the world and it's a significant contributor to greenhouse gas. But West Australian scientists have developed a low-carbon concrete recipe combining recycled construction and coal waste from Collie. Turning new life into an old industry, this concrete mix uses recycled construction materials and fly ash waste from a coal-fired power station. It is a unique approach that creates a geopolymer cement in a unique chemical reaction and then adding recycled crushed rock and gravel. It's not just about reusing waste products. The cement sector is the world's third largest industrial energy consumer and is the second largest industrial emitter of carbon dioxide, accounting for 7% of the global emissions. This new type of eco-concrete made from geopolymer cement has lower emissions.